morning. For as far back as I can remember, I always train in the morning with an empty stomach. I have a good feed the night before bed, uh, porridge and stuff, and then I'll be training then at around 7 o'clock. But um, I just want to try something different now for a while and see does, do I notice any improvements. I read a thing about it on Instagram the other day uh, from Wad Science and they're talking about the importance of carbohydrates. So every morning now, before I start training, I just introduce something extra in the form of a bagel, a banana, and 15 grams of honey on the top of it. Just to see, does it um, make me feel better um, while I'm training and give a bit more energy. So the macros for this is 10 grams of protein, 97 grams of carbs, and one gram of fat. And that is the first meal of the day before we go into training. I can't see why this wouldn't work. It, it, it looks A, delicious. It's going to be great to eat every morning and for sure it's going to be an extra bit of energy so I'm uh, hoping that I'll see results in my training. So I'm going to eat this and then I'm going to try and get to the gym. Last night we got snowed in right and the hill down there is just, you can't drive it, it's just too dangerous, too risky. So we're stuck here, it's now almost 8 o'clock, we're running well behind but see now in an hour if we can get down or not. So that's the reason I couldn't get down to the 5 class this morning. Just snowed in, it's just like a bottle here. Um, it's about half, what time is it now? Quarter to nine. Sun's been hit that now this last, uh, I'd say this last hour, hour and a half, so it's kind of half thawing a wee bit. So I'm going to take the van out now and chance getting down the lane to try and get there for the 10 o'clock class and try and get down to get my own training done as well. So. Right, made it down the road, starting the day off now with a strength piece. We're going to be, well, it's not so much a strength piece, we're just building up the heavy set of three in the power cleans. It's not a max, it's just a heavy for the day. And then we get on to the next one then. So we'll start this first power clean piece. Right, I built up to 103 for a set of three, and I'll leave it at that. It's not a max effort, but it's a heavy, and for the day that's in it, that feels fairly heavy. Right, next workout we have is a five rounder, 20 chest bars, and then a five, four, three, two, one of cleaning jerks. Cleaning jerks at 103. Finish that workout of the chest bar and the cleaning jerk. Uh, two sets of ten each time on the chest bar, and then on the cleaning jerks, then just singles the whole way through the five, four, three, two, and one. So for me, that was a heavy enough weight. Um, I found them a wee bit challenging. One more piece to do. It's uh, five rounds of two minute arm wraps, twenty GHDs, a fifty foot overhead walking lunge, max bar facing burpees in the remaining time. And we're going to rest two minutes between rounds. So that's the last piece, and then we get home to the heat and eat.
and burpees over the bar. Alright, so the 20 GHDs unbroken on those. Unbroken on the GHDs. The lunge, right? I've got a 25 foot section there. So it's 50 foot for the walking lunge. So I had to go up and turn around. The first round I held on the bar and just turned around. But that was a bit slow. So uh, the next round then I just went up 25, dropped her. Turned straight around, picked it up and then went back down again. And then dropped her. I went straight into the burpees then after that. Oh, he bone here, he is mad about that. Just loves that. So that is the training done for the day, folks. The sun's out now and it's a fine day, so hopefully that's the snow gone for the foreseeable and uh, we're not stuck in the house anymore and kind of backpedaling then on our training for the day. So that's us, folks. We will see you tomorrow for the next one. Good luck.